I think I went to do a check and I said, oh, my stomach is big. I bet I have fibroids. Like I was just joking about it. And he said, I don't think so. But I said, okay, go and do a test. And I did uh, an ultrasound and I figured that I had fibroids then. But I didn't think anything of it at the time. Um, when I had my periods, I had two days when I bled a lot. So it was quite heavy. And I was always anemic. I used to have cramps. But for me, it was the anemia, the cramps, and the heavy period, and elongated period as well. So instead of like a six day, I would be going on for like 10 to 14 days of just constantly bleeding, which wasn't healthy for me at all. I actually thought about going back to London to go and do an operation, but I didn't want to do surgery either. So it was just something I was thinking about for a year and a half. Well, the truth is, in Nigeria here, everybody talks about surgery, then there's all these people selling these herbal medication but I don't really believe in that because after people have done the herbal and medication they still come back to surgery and I didn't really want to do surgery here. I thought about it as I said going to London to do surgery but for me surgery was an option so I think I just sat there and I said oh god just provide a solution. So I just started googling and as I googled I saw UFE and I'm like what's that? So I just started reading up about it just looking at cases and stuff and I just thought okay I remember I made some calls around to certain hospitals here and they said they didn't do it. I came here just the normal, came in early, um, went through the information, gave me information about the operation and how long it would take and what they'll be doing and the procedure I think it was like about an hour, an hour and a half, not longer than that and then I settled into the room here and I left the next morning so it was straightforward. He explained everything to me as I got here and it was quite friendly and he followed up as well. Yeah, because um, science is, there's a lot happening in the technology first. So basically when I went online and I saw other people and their testimonies, I believe that yeah, if they can do it and if it's possible and I spoke to the lady that introduced me because she already came a month before she I met her. And yeah, I did. So when I came and I spoke to him, I was confident about it. And I'm that kind of person, I would never do surgery in Nigeria, not anything. It's just that the results are not always that great. But for some reason, I was calm about it, prayed about it, and said, God, show me any signs. Nothing happened. I came in here calm, and I left calm, and it was fine. When I left here, I was jumping around. I've actually told quite a few people about it, actually. So now I've seen my results, I'll tell them. So yeah, I would. I think... For most people that have fibroids and don't want to go through the surgery option, this is one of the best options I see out there. It's non-invasive so you don't get cut up and the healing period is quite, it's lesser than when you do normal surgery. So yeah, I'd recommend that anybody going through the same symptoms, especially if you're having heavy periods of disrupting your life, you should come and try it. As I said, I'm a living testament. So I have to say it's a blessing and thank you Lord. So yeah, I'm happy.